what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd Oh shit, you got love for the sub, nigga, fuck that shit Like, tell the old dick to suck my dick Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Koei, and we on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest, T.G. Crippy. I think you know the vibes, man. T.G. Crippy, the one and only, 50 to 7 CEO, man. I niggas know what's going on. We do. So, CEO from of what? 50 to 7. So, is that a label, or that's the block, or what's that? Should soon be a label, man. Soon be a label. So, in the works? Just a movement right now. Okay, and who else is a part of that movement? For me, my boy Black, Chase, Kenzo, Ray Bola, for me. So it's a lot of people. Bali B, for me. Yeah. Hunter, Free Hunter, P Dot. Uh huh. A lot of members, you know. So there's a lot of people over there. A lot of members, right? And these are all people you grew up with, or. Mm hmm. Facts. Okay. Most of all, most of all, facts. All right. Most of all, and basically. everybody's doing music, or it's like some people doing other stuff, or? Nah, yeah, everybody doing music. Everybody, actually. Everybody really doing music. Nobody else really doing nothing crazy. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, like when everybody doing music? I mean, both, both, you know. <laughs> both ways, you know, because, I mean, you, you could do, a, other niggas could do other shit, for me. That's Other yeah, niggas that's could do other shit, start businesses, merch, mm -hmm. all that other shit, for me. You can even get a camera and yeah. record our shit. Yeah, but I'm saying, but it seems like everybody just want to be a rapper now. That's a fact, bro. So that's what I'm saying. Cause they that... see what's going on, man. Everybody getting a little, they little shine. Everybody getting a little for me. Everybody getting mentioned. Everybody getting attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it'd be good attention and bad attention. Mm -hmm. I mean, you being an artist, you know, with the clout you have, could you tell people like some of the good stuff and bad stuff about it? Like the good stuff <laughs> the is good that stuff, for yeah. me, like. The good stuff is like people, you actually got people that really fuck with you, and you mm -hmm. actually got people that really fuck with your shit. So that's, that shit make niggas feel good and shit, feel me? But it definitely bad shit too, bro. Right. You gotta be careful where you at, feel me? Niggas be trying to act stupid, gangster. Niggas be trying to act yeah. stupid, trying to get clout. Niggas be doing all type of weird shit, so you just gotta be careful, feel me? For real, and then um, you know the P and B Rock situation just happened, so and like people try to blame like his girl for I guess posting where they was at, but like you said, people be clout chasing. It could have been anybody. That's so fact, how yeah. do you feel about you know going in public places? Do you feel like you need security? You feel like it depends on how lit you are, or yeah, that too. It depends on how lit you are. But for me, if you that lit for me, I feel like you should have security around and shit. For so me. you're not against having security. No, nah, cause you know artists be like, oh, you're not tough if you don't got if you yeah, don't yeah, have security. I don't niggas get it. Down, yeah. Niggas, <laughs> niggas don't know how to be professional, bro. Everybody just want to take everything to the next level all the time. You can't do that all the time, bro. Yeah, so only when necessary. Niggas already know how that's gonna go. Niggas know the outcome of that for that. If you if you, if you out here walking around with no fucking security, thinking you Superman and shit. Mm-hmm. You might you might be Superman, nigga. You <laughs> clap a nigga and all that, nigga. You still gonna go, still gonna go to jail, nigga. Or yeah. Whatever, nigga. Mm -hmm. And I feel like New York laws are real strict out here, so I mean, like they be on it, all that stuff. As a fact, they be on it. Yeah, but um, let's get into like how you got started. Like, when was the first time you guys went in the booth or you knew like music was for you? I mean, I went in the booth. First time I went in the booth was around like 2019, 2019. Okay, so that's not that far. Mm -hmm. Like niggas wasn't really for me on some real shit until after the fact, like twenty twenty, probably like twenty twenty one. In the beginning of twenty twenty one, that's when you got niggas serious. Niggas really on some real shit. Like yeah, fuck it, we on some real shit with it. Okay, and then um, what would you say like was your first like real I guess pickup? Like when did attraction start coming in crazy? What song? Fifty seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I that, yeah, I remember that song that went crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, famous niggas hit me up saying that shit was sturdy. Like that who? Shit was when shot one, when somebody else? Um, who around that time? Who? It was niggas with blue checks and shit though. Yeah, sometimes it be athletes too. Athletes yeah, tapped athlete, into the athlete, drums athlete, are yeah. crazy. Football players, basketball players, yeah. for me. Oh, Shout out all them niggas too. Bro. Yes. They be putting niggas little music in their little basketball clips and shit. 
Facts. That's why yeah, you know. Yeah, that's facts. So um, so but all in all, like when y'all was, when you was coming up, K Flock was out, and I know y'all was all moving around and stuff. Um, how you feel like that? Like, do you feel like that helped or whatever? Hell yeah, hell yeah, bro. Flock put niggas on the map. Yeah. You put this whole shit on the map. Do you feel nah. like y'all have to like hold up to the po- hold you know hold up to the standard being that he's not here right now? Yeah, that's a fact. Definitely, definitely, bro. Cause I already knew bro was here for me. A lot of niggas wouldn't be getting the shine again right now, bro. For me, bro, all attention to be on the bro right now, bro. Respectfully, and that's me being honest, bro. Respectfully. So you feel like shit would have been a little bit different if shit, he was here. Definitely been different. Yeah. But all in all, I mean, watching from the outside, I mean, labels, I must have labels. K label still promoting his music. Do you like what they doing with it so far? Do you feel like they keeping his name alive, or they could do a yeah. little more? Or? Yeah, for sure, they keeping his name alive for sure. Yeah, and they're not really it's changing. Never the enough. Music. It's never, never, ever enough for me. It's, it's always, never enough. Never Niggas enough. can always do more. You can always do more. <laughs> never enough. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Everything. So even in the midst of all that, you had ended up getting locked up in the prom. Like your shit was going crazy at the I, time. That shit on the tape, bro. What Honestly. happened? Like, was, of course, you know, stuff happened. But you yeah. know, like, how did you feel like having to leave, knowing like so much was going on at the moment? That shit, got, like, that shit was depressing. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was tight like depressing. But for me, cause I knew where niggas was at. For me, but I knew for me, my son Kenzo was gonna hold it down for me. Mm-hmm. And he him. did. Gonna hold it down for me. Held it down, gangsta. So I came back, niggas was for me. Niggas not going crazy, crazy right now, bro. Cause niggas for me, for me, patience is key, bro. I say that shit all the time. Patience is key, bro. For my mother, niggas be trying to drop, trying to stay relevant, no lie. Niggas don't gotta do that. Girl. Niggas going no. You you could drop a video every two weeks. Niggas gonna know you gonna drop a video every two weeks, and they gonna expect that from you every two weeks. So. Mm-hmm. Just be low key with your shit for me, so you gotta have niggas actually feeding, not feeding, but having niggas actually mm-hmm. wanted to wanted to right. come out more. Cause you know people think like dropping every week in two weeks is the thing right now. Yeah, so that's not it. Mm-hmm. That's not it. Niggas well, gonna get tired of you. <laughs> that's good that you say that, cause you know artists be like, I need to drop more. I gotta drop every week, and then you want some. Yeah, so you be gotta patient. just chill, bro. Yeah, so just chill for me. And do you feel like that's like wasting music, kind of in a sense, dropping every week? I mean, yeah, yeah, but nah, for me, cause you gotta always have music. Right? Yeah, it's always for me. There's always more songs to make, and it's always for me. And and a lot of niggas' songs don't be whack. Niggas mm-hmm. be actually fucking with these songs. So. I think sometimes y'all be dropping so much, it be hard to find the good songs, cause it be so much music. Oh uh, yeah, that for some too. people too. That too. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's that. And then, okay, so your gram always gets deleted for some Yo, reason, bro. That shit crazy, bro. So it was hard to even, I, I knew you was out, but I didn't know, like, where to f- even. From my page, Yeah, right? like, I didn't crazy. even know what was going on. So how did, so you made a new page? Yeah, I made a new one. Facts. But you had one when you got, before you got locked up, and somebody was running that one? Yeah, somebody okay. was running And that shit got messed up too? Yeah. So how many pages you don't have overall so far? By like four. Four? Like four years. So is this like the final one, hopefully? Yeah, definitely, but hopefully, the final. Was it you getting strikes or something? Like, what, what was happening with the Instagram? Or you forgot passwords? Yeah, or? like, for me, you know when you, like, you know when you type, like, a curse word or some shit? Yeah. And they give you, like, the opportunity to delete the shit or yeah. share it anyway? Uh-huh. Every trip, I was pressing shit anyway. <laughs> and then, okay. And then, for me, they just took my shit away. Okay. So, now, good. you know, you're a public figure. I guess you got to watch what you say now. Uh, yeah. Is that annoying? That shit is annoying, nigga. <laughs> I, won't, I be wanting to talk my shit. Niggas be talking crazy. Or Yes. The the thing I hate that y'all know, y'all, y'all rappers always do is the black screens. Uh, yeah, I that shit be getting tight, bro. I hate them. But, um, you know, sometimes y'all be feeling the need to, like, speak on certain things. Right. When you was um locked up though, a lot of like drama was going on. I'm sure you probably heard when you was in there. Like, Just drama about? amongst like I guess artists, I guess with where they feel they deserve or yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a fact. I heard, like, I heard about that before. Yeah, when I was locked up and shit. Yeah. So mm-hmm. do you feel like um 
think it's me ego tripping? Do you feel like, like you said, your time will come? Or do you feel like we be fighting for something that's just... Oh, yeah, that too, bro. The last shit you just said, niggas be fighting for something that's not even theirs. <laughs> That's what it is. Everybody swear they, swear they got this, they got that. Y'all niggas don't got nothing, bro. <laughs> Respectfully, bro. Y'all okay. niggas don't got nothing, bro. Like, gangster. Nobody got nothing, bro. Niggas, everybody doing anything, bro. Respectfully. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like you said, everybody feel like they got something. So artists feel like they got to prove they got something. Whether it's dropping music, whether it's flashy cars. You know, people just feel like they got to prove yeah, they got fact. it going on. That too. You got to say, I niggas got to stop doing that, bro. I, mean, <laughs> I could have bought jewelry. I could have done all that other shit. I ain't even want to do that shit, bro. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So do shit you, don't mean nothing. Do you not feed into that? Do you got, you know, got nah. bigger responsibilities? Or you yeah, just I don't feel- pay attention to that shit, bro. Okay. Because you know, niggas gonna do what they want at the end of the day, you know. Exactly. So, um, so who were some of your influences like growing up into the music scene? Like, as in like music period or music just period. like music period. I right. say Lil Durk and shit. Lil Durk mm-hmm. for me definitely. Lil Durk for me. Chief Keef. Um, who else? Young Pappy too. Young Pappy was okay. different. Nobody you know, be saying him. Okay. He was different. Young Pappy was different. You know, like G Herbo for sure. G Herbo and um, for me, Drake and shit. Drake, of Future. Course. Yeah. So a couple of different people. Oh and yeah. How yeah. would you describe your sound? I guess you would say. I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I just got my own sound. For me, like, mm-hmm. I just for me. I don't know. So, I got that little for me. I got that angry, like, I'm kind of like, I got that angry bird in me shit type shit. <laughs> like, I'll be on some angry shit, but then I'll be like chill at the same time for me. So, okay. So, I don't really know how to explain that one. All right. So, if you have to do three words, I guess, to describe it, I guess it would be angry and two, give me two more words to describe angry, your music. Um, aggressive. Mm-hmm. You know, um, disrespectful. Okay, yeah, disrespectful. we know that. And what would be would be triggering the disrespect <laughs> when they disrespect? So you that, never that, like start what, anything? Nah, I mean, yeah, sometimes you know. Most <laughs> At of least the time, you kept it a buck. Most of the time, it be them though. For me, niggas be chai, bro. I be like, nah, bro, should be crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, who even gave you this type of information? I mean, mm. I mean, some people did say, like, they kind of just say shit that rhymes. Yeah. Sometimes. Do you do that too? Or? Sometimes. <laughs> most of the time. Most of the time it's facts. All facts. All facts. All facts. All facts. Okay. Word. All right. But um, all in all, people were trying to say, like, drill music is coming to an end and they kind of want to ban drill music. It's too disrespectful. How do you feel about mm-hmm. that, being that you're a drill artist? I wouldn't believe in that, you know. You know what I mean? There's always going to be new artists that's popping up, you know? Mm-hmm. There's always going to be new artists. You feel like drill's dying out, though? Mm, somewhat, you know, but as shit happens, as shit is actually happening, it's getting more interesting to other people, you know? Mm-hmm. Like niggas getting caught back and niggas fighting, <laughs> niggas getting locked up, niggas yeah. dying. You feel me? That, that just amping shit even more to... to have niggas investigate on it more like damn nah this shit actually crazy like let's really see what's really going on like I ain't gonna lie we gotta stay in tune like we gotta stay tuned on this drill mm-hmm. shit this drill shit getting nasty like mm-hmm. shit was not like that before all the old had niggas say that all the time mm-hmm. y'all niggas got it easy y'all. this shit was never like that before <laughs> I don't think y'all have it easy mm-hmm. I think it's easier for y'all to go make music now mm-hmm. I feel like nowadays anybody is just going in the booth saying some That's crazy fact. shit. But I feel like now, I feel like y'all got to be extra, extra safe. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, safer. Y'all move tight, everybody. Yeah, but the Bronx, I feel like y'all real specific on this block doesn't mess with this block. Where, like, other spots is like, oh, if you're Crip or you Blood or it gets a little deeper. So, like, do, does that, like, do you think, like, that's going to matter, like, when y'all get bigger? Like, oh, we mm-hmm. still don't mess with that block? Because it's going to be bigger than the Bronx soon. Do you care to fix any of those broken relationships? Or do you feel like it is what it is at yeah, this point? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. It's clip. 
as cup for yeah, some it's people. Cup. Everybody. <laughs> cup for everybody. Okay. Okay. Niggas be wanting to come around cause shit lit. Oh, over, yeah, we right here. Mm-hmm. We not going nowhere. Okay. Ain't some niggas be trying to come around cause it's lit. I swear to God. You probably got songs everywhere, but a lot of songs be getting leaked nowadays. Oh yeah, niggas be sending out songs. Niggas be selling tracks. Shit be crazy, bro. Yeah, so like, um, how do you, I guess, keep your music safe now? Now that, you know, if your song get leaked, it's serious. I send it to them niggas right there. Blake, Chase, and Jay-Z. When I send it to them, the music don't go nowhere. So okay. you just got to keep it around the same niggas. That's all. Okay. Like, when Kenzo go get it regardless. Right? Mm-hmm. You know the vibes. Yeah. And then um, right now, everybody got this thing where niggas is buying views and that's how niggas is staying lit. What do yeah, you think bro, about I ain't going to lie. Niggas, oh, man. 20K, 37 seconds, YouTube, your page. It's all right. I don't feel no way, bro. I don't feel no way. So, like, so, so. I don't feel no way, bro, because a lot of niggas for me, that's going to bring, I ain't going to lie, I might buy, I might buy views too. <laughs> Yo, he's so yeah. No, you're not. Shit giving niggas a lot of clout. <laughs> shit giving niggas a lot of clout. I'm about to get my shit a honey K at five seconds. Yo. Watch how many niggas y'all bomb me. But watch how much clout I get. <laughs> niggas never thought about it that way, though, right? Nah, you're not going to buy views. Do you feel like people are really buying views, or you feel like that's just Nah, I feel like it should be or? mistakes, you know? Should be should just be mistakes. I know niggas is something shit. For me, I know niggas was saying. You know I mean, I don't even want to get into all that, you know. So how about you? Are you signed? Are you looking for a deal? Well, actually, that, that, that I'm gonna keep that on the hush right now, you know. Okay. I'm keep I'm just keep that on the hush for niggas, bro. Okay, but um. Be chilling right now. But you have a team, I'm sure. How are you? Okay. Shout out to my team, you heard? Mm-hmm. I love y'all niggas. And then um, before you came out, who was on Hot? Was on, what's on Hot came out or been on Hot? Who's who really on Hot? Who really on Hot? Y'all all did that remix. Yeah, Thank but for me, mine was better. <laughs> Yours was definitely when you dropped. People was definitely talking about it. It was definitely flicking crazy. You really? dropped that before you came out, or that was like this track when you came out? Um, for me, I had shot the video before I got locked up. Mm-hmm. Shot the video. I made the song before I got locked up. Shot the video. Mm-hmm. And and you then, just held it? Yeah, I held that shit. I was supposed to drop it before. Mm-hmm. I was, the day I was supposed to drop it, I got locked up. Oh, wow. So you told them to hold it? Yeah. I mean, told and niggas to hold it. I'm like, you know what? When I come home, shit gonna be sturdy. Niggas gonna check that. Feel me? Wait it, wait it. Feel me? I was gonna drop it on my birthday, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna just wait till I go home. I was in jail for my birthday, though. Feel me? So I was like, nah, I'm gonna wait till I come home and shit. Feel me? Dropped it before I came home. Yeah. Shit got deleted. Shit out of half a mil in 13 days. Yeah, I was wondering what happened, why the numbers have went Shit down. got deleted. Niggas like hating. Sorry, bro. What do you think happened? So it got deleted off your channel? Oh, I know what your happened. Your page got deleted? Oh, I know what happened. I'm going to just keep that on the hush. Even still, like, even that beat and all, that beat was a big beat. A lot of people did that beat. How do you feel about, like, doing beats that people done already? Are you going to done doing that? Because y'all do a lot of remixes. It depends on what beat it is. If I like it, I'm going to do it. So it don't matter who did it. If you like it, you're going to do it? Yeah, it don't matter. <laughs> okay. Any beats you fucking with right now? Anything you think you might remix or not yet? Um, I'm bad at finding beats, you know. Yeah? So you Kendall looking for... Finding, um, you looking for a set producer or not yet? Yeah, I'm act- I actually am, you know. Right? So if you produce, I guess it happens. I mean, I, I fake got one for me. I fake got one, but I'm gonna keep that on the hush. Yeah, for me, I 
like I went though. I'm gonna keep that one? Hush. Okay, because you don't want to give out all that. Yeah. All right. Nigga, you gonna try grab my boy up. <laughs> right. So, but do you have a set cameraman? Are you looking for um, a set cameraman? Nah, nah, nah. I, I fuck with I fuck with a lot of cameramen, you know. Mm-hmm. I fuck with CPD, Wonton, mm-hmm. you know. I just did a video with Director Blizzard. Okay. You know, I fuck with um, Kalo. I ain't shoot a video with Kalo in a minute though. With yeah. Kalo, Kalo came up with y'all type shit. Yeah, um, video means out there. Launch team, you know. Yeah. Out there, you know. All right, so we're gonna play a game. We're gonna let the people know a little bit more about you. Right. I bet. So when I ask a question, you just answer it as fast as you can. Right. Okay. All right. So what's your sign? Gemini. What is your pet peeve? Like, what do you hate the most, or what's something that you hate? I hate when bitches. I hate. I, I don't fuck bitches. I hate liars. Okay. And if you had a superpower, what would it be? To kill the ops. <laughs> okay. Um. Who knows? All you? of them. Like on some execution shit. Okay, like no coming back. Yeah, no coming back and on some I could get low and y'all never gonna find me. If we talking about superhero shit. Okay. Um, who do you feel like knows you best? My grandma. What are you most lazy about? I mean going to court, that shit annoying. Okay. Um what's one investment you're gonna do? A tire shop. Hmm, that's smart. Best decision you ever made so far? Rapping. What do you not take seriously enough? Bitches. <laughs> Which rapper would you not let date your child if you have one? Fabio Foreman. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Ruby Rose. Worst song ever? Move Look. Best song ever. Who really gonna hide? Okay. Favorite artist outside of hip hop. As in, like, like Ed Sheeran, Dua Lipa. I don't know. You listen to pop music, R and B, Mary J. Blige, type shit. Um, SZA, Summer Walker. I don't know. If you Summer that. Walker, definitely. <laughs> SZA, definitely. Um. Yeah. Killer Roy, I don't know what else, but yeah. Okay, um, last thing you spent money on? Weed and perks. Hardest bar ever. Not ever, but give me a hard bar, because the hardest ever is crazy. Hard bar? Yeah, like fire bar. Fire punchline. That could like, be one of yours. It could be one of mine? Mm-hmm. Who you touch? What you did? Oh, you said you smoking on Nick, me too. But you was not smoking J-Rip. C.I.P. Nas, he was on that shit. Okay. One sentence for your ex. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Most underrated artist. All my niggas. All of them. Okay. Favorite app. Instagram. Okay, and the last song you listen to? <laughs> you gotta check his one. Kenzo Bull losing control part two. Okay, y'all did a part two. Okay. Shit, different. He did a part two. Now, nah, losing control is definitely flicking. The girls are definitely fucking with I mean, I get, I got physical to that a couple times. <laughs> got real physical, you know. So you 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 single or you with my? Oh no, nah. I'm gonna keep that on the hush right there. But you chilling right now? I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm definitely. Okay. Chilling. Is is dating different now? Cause you lit. You feel like intentions are different. Uh, are you more yeah. attack with girls now? Me, I feel like they be attacking me more. You know. <laughs> I'm like more attack, like more on point. Like do you like? I'm no dating. It's probably different. Oh yeah, but I can't really now. date. Bitches be on some shit like, oh, you a rapper, so. I mean, niggas already know what type of time you want. <laughs> I'll be like, I ain't back. Fuck it. Mm. Yeah. It is. Mm. But um, do you feel like, so do you feel like because you're a rapper, you got to date somebody of stature, or do you feel like she can have a nine to five, or what do you think? No, nah, yeah, she got to have a nine to five. She just, just got to be loyal. 
She gotta be okay. sturdy. Okay. She, she, she gotta be fat. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so specifics. Okay. Um. All right, but so what's what are you working on right now, music wise? EP, EP. EP title yeah. yet? TG this, TG that. Everybody know the rest of that. You know that. Col- I think you know that. Collabs on there. Yeah, yeah, you know. We know you got you and Kenzo. Huh? You and Kenzo for sure. Where about I? You and Kenzo definitely on the tape. Kenzo is definitely. Oh yeah, on the yeah, yeah, yeah. He on the tape. <laughs> he on the tape for sure. On the project. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, are you, do you think y'all are dynamic duo? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And um, that's y'all family or y'all that's just That's my close? blood brother, bro. Like blood brother. Same father, same mom. Like, okay. You ain't son. Okay. That's for all the niggas I don't know, word. So that's... The niggas is blood, bro. That's family. Locked in, bro. Yeah. So the EP, what's what's the goal? Like, what's the message on the EP that you want people to know after hearing this? TG this, TG that. What do you want the people to know when hearing this one? What me like? I'm the trending topic, bro. What me? No matter what niggas talking about, TG gonna pop up in that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. What me? So it's always TG this, TG that. You are like, what me? Okay. I'm the reason for everything. Okay. That's the title of this whole. EP, I'm the reason for everything. Yeah. Reason for a lot of the drill movement now, right now. Or just a lot I wouldn't of, say that. Just a I'm lot. I'm saying of, in my in my category. In your lane. Yeah. yeah, my lane, you know. Do you feel like people is going in too many different lanes? Yeah. Yeah. So you setting the tone with this one? Hey. Right. <laughs> okay. When is this EP coming out? This year? Okay. Yeah, this year this for year? sure. This year All for right, sure. so before right. the year ends? Before the year ends. This year? Okay. I'm going to have some shit. Then I got like two videos dropping on the way you're two videos. Okay. I'm all out. Mm-hmm. But you want to be on TikTok dancing and shit? Yeah. Some, not nothing crazy, but something light. Something light, you know. Mm-hmm. Something light. Do you I feel have, like you needed to get on TikTok? Mm-hmm. I don't need to, but for me. I mean, be helps. active. Should be active for me. It helps. For me, you're not gonna say too much, but you know why I'm on that. It helps. You with know the why music. I'm on that. I think you know why. You just want. You just want them to know. <laughs> I mean, it helps with the music. I'm saying it. Yeah. Yeah. It do. Uh huh. And you know what else too? Okay. I know you know. <laughs> but um, even the whole like YouTube videos and stuff like that. You gonna keep doing more of the pranks? Did they do one on you yet? Um, With Booba now? You did one? Nah. I'm about to fuck Nori up. Are you gonna do you wanna do the pranks? I don't wanna do it, but for me. I fuck with Nori and Booba. Mm-hmm. With the bros. So I'ma just for me. I'ma fuck them niggas up real fast. Okay. Mm-hmm. We just go viral. People say like that kinda helps and hurts because they do be fake violent and I guess. Uh bro, them niggas bro, I don't know, bro. Them niggas just like niggas roughing them up, man. <laughs> gotta chill with that shit, man. But you It was my hearts though. It was my blood hoes right there. It was my hearts. Mm-hmm. With the bros. But you would do more like YouTube content with other YouTubers or Yeah, it gotta be some shit with the bitches though. Okay. So you would do like the E dates and stuff? Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Blonde dates, stuff like that. Smashing pies, shit. <laughs> okay. You need to bring the bros up there, cause huh. all of that stuff. Other niggas was getting wild up up there. They was. I was real nasty. Was getting wild up. But, <clears throat> but all in all, though, are you gonna jump on Twitch? Everybody's making jokes because all the rappers are on Twitch right now. Twitch, nah. I'm not getting on that shit. Like the video games and all that. I'm good off that. <laughs> that yeah. niggas can add me on the P file. <laughs> Fuck. That niggas yeah. talking about some motherfucking Twitch. Do you feel like artists are like doing other stuff that don't pertain to like artist stuff? Because like we said, the YouTube, the Smashing Pass, niggas getting on Twitch now. I feel like some of that stuff is pulling away from actually being an artist. What you think? Well, like, wait, 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 what? I said, like, do you feel like artists right now are pulling away from doing, like, rapper stuff? Where, like, they get on Twitch now with the Smash It Pass and all this yeah. stuff. 
It's like they not in the studio as much because they doing this stuff now. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it may slow them down a little bit. Mm. But I shit not stopping a couple of niggas, you know. Yeah, I feel like it helps or hurts depending on the type of artist you are. Hey, that's a fact. As long as it, I feel like you should be doing whatever helps as an artist. You don't give me a video game type of person. Nah, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Really I'll, be in the, I'll be playing the game, though. Bro. Okay. I mean, eventually, not at some mean, point. Yeah. Not right, when that other shit though. Maybe I don't even know how to play games on I think that shit on computer, right? Um, you stream from the computer. You like hook the computer to the T V. It's Oh yeah, it's too much shit. Stuff. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, yeah you gotta I barely know how to hook the game. fucking game up to the T V. But people be like it yeah. pays <laughs> <laughs> People say it pays though. You feel like that's you're not doing anything for money. It just gotta depend on Yeah, yeah ain't gonna lie, it gotta depend. Yeah. It depends on what it is for sure. Yeah. So, um, a lot of people was going back and forth like about paying for features. Do you feel like paying for features is a good or bad thing? Depends on who it is. I mean, a boogie feature, paying. Okay. You know. Niggas up stature. People mm. lit. Yeah, lit. If niggas, it's worth man. it. Lit rappers. Okay. Mm. A boogie. G herbal shit like that. Mm-hmm. But. Me personally, I think y'all niggas should just do that shit off the arm, you know? Respectfully. As an artist, do it off the arm? Or what do yeah. you mean? Like, major celebrities. High celebrities. Like, yeah. Lil Durk, G Herbo, mm-hmm. for me. If y'all niggas just to get a feature with anybody from the Bronx, for me, like, do that shit off the arm. Mm. That's how I feel. Other niggas might not feel like that, but for me. Okay, I feel like if you fucking with me, let me it the oil depends. If you fucking yeah, with me depends. and you hit me up like oh fuck my fuck with just y'all for me. Yeah, I feel like if you hit somebody up, you can't expect them to pay. Right. But if you're hitting niggas like you don't need to try and I feel yeah. like that's how rappers eat. You gotta that's pay a for a feature. That's a fact. You gotta pay for a feature at some point. Are you accepting features? Or are you focusing on yourself right now? Or cause features get tricky. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. And then it gets political out here too. So I accept that features. making songs with everybody. Yeah. And Should be turning out different you know, at the end. It. Should be crazy. Mm hmm. But uh, right now, you focusing on your EP? I didn't focus. I to stay focused. Okay. Uh-huh. Didn't show no emotion.